What's up? You guys heard the plan for today. We are going to be playing Scary Gambit. And I'm going to try to beat you guys playing a gambit. So we're going to pick one gambit at a time. I have six. We're going to try to play as many of you guys as I can until I beat one of you guys. Then we're going to move on to the next gambit. I'm going to tell you guys what gambit we're playing and what moves you guys have to play. In order for us to go into the line. So that's the plan. The first gambit is... The Jerome Gambit. Alright, so the Jerome Gambit in summary is e4 let me put up an analysis board real quick so this is the jerome gambit e4 e5 knight of three knight c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 bishop takes f7 king takes f7 followed by knight takes e5 check and i even have the cool animations and everything so this is going to be really cool. So this is what the Jerome Gambit is. So Bob, you're going to be playing black. And this is what you're going to be letting me play into. Okay? Alrighty. So I have to make sure that I'm playing the correct line as well. Alright, E4, E5, Knight C6, Bishop C5. Now this is the first part of the gambit, you take back, and this is the second part. So I've given up two pieces for two pawns. Alright, now you take back my knight on e5. Alright, so now I have to figure out what to do. Now, I didn't study anything, but I did find all these gambits off a of website to make a list from. And I believe I'm supposed to follow up with queen h5 check. So I start by having like a fork with the queen, with the king and the knight here. Okay, so knight g6, so now I get one piece back. Alright, so we're only down a piece. The king's kind of in the center. There's a compensation for this. It's not looking too bad. I need to be a bit aggressive. So I can either go d4, or I can castle. How much do I care about king safety? I should always care about king safety. Let's go for this. Okay, that's a good move, because now the bishop's going to develop. So let's do... Let's go back to c3 so we don't get attacked again. Because I want to play d4. And get my pieces out. Um, let's go with f4. So maybe we'll go for e5. Okay, he's gonna try to manually castle. Do I want to allow that? Can I stop it? Is the question. Because if I go queen b3, this bishop b6. Let's go f5 first. Um, so we allow the knight to go to the square e5, which normally I wouldn't want, but. I'm trying to see if I can make something happen here. He's doing well. I gotta bring some more pieces into the game. Let's go C3. With the idea to try to go D4 here. Okay, go here. So I was gonna go Knight A3, but then C4 check with a discovery, and then they plant their Knight on D3, and I didn't feel like I liked that too much. Okay, they're developing. Let's go Knight A3. And maybe an T2 with D4 ideas? We're gonna have to see. It's not that simple here. Yeah, I don't think I got the compensation I needed, but that's okay. Let's go Knight C2. Do I have enough power for D4 now? Technically, I do. I'm gonna go for this here. If I don't lose, I have to keep trying until I win with this gambit. I'm upon an E4 as well. Okay, let's go Rook E3. Okay, it takes, let's take back. We need the Bob Gambit to happen. Okay, we're at 88. I feel like I can play e5 now because. Hmm, knight d5 might be a thing. Ooh, I have a cool idea, guys. Okay, let's go e5. Go on. Okay, knight d5. So, yeah, I saw this. They're attacking my rook and they're attacking my pawn. So, I'm thinking we're gonna go f6. Alright, g6. Alright. Alright, fine. But now we don't lose our pawn in f5, which means we have a very nice connect um, 5 here. So I'm doing maybe rook f3 to support this pawn. And okay, we're getting some compensation here. It's not not the worst. Okay, there should be 2 just attacking my rook. So I think I can just click like a rook of 2 and I think I'm fine. As long as the bishop can't go here, because this knight is kind of important. Oh, the Bob Gambit! is upon us 
<laughs> oh, Eddie resigned. We won. First game. First game we won with the Jerome Gambit. Thank you, Bob, for doing the Bob Gambit. I was waiting all game for that. It took 25 moves. Much appreciated. <laughs> all right, Big St. The Gambit that I'm going to be playing against you is... The Halloween Gambit. We can't have Halloween and not play the Halloween Gambit. You know? We have to play the Halloween Gambit. So, so you guys know what the Halloween Gambit is. I'm going to play it. It starts with E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Knight C3, Knight F6, followed by Knight takes E5. And this is the Halloween Gambit. Sacking a knight on move four. Leave. All right, it started. E4. I have to check it myself, honestly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we're off. All right, he takes, I believe the follow-up is D4. You gave up a whole knight, so you got to have your compensation here. Okay, so knight goes back there. So I think I can play E5 here and kick the other knight back as well. All right, so gave up a knight. We have a very nice center. Um, we gotta keep it rolling, though. We gotta keep it rolling. How do I want to do Let's go with F4 and see. I'm trying to kind of just irritate both his knights here. We gotta be a bit careful here. Let's develop so we can also get our king safe, maybe. I'm thinking bishop c4. Let's line up with this pawn here and prep for castling. I think it's okay. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, so it takes- we're- oops, it takes- we're definitely taking with the f-pawn. I don't want to trade queens. I'm down a piece. Alright, he took, so we're definitely taking with the f-pawn, avoiding queen trades. Um, if we castle in the next move, our rook will be staring at this pawn with the bishop, which is not bad. So I think I might go for that. You know what, I could- I could sack a third piece. A third piece and then castle, but I really don't think there's enough compensation there. Alright, so let's castle first. If they want to take- if he wants to take, it's fine. Oh, he takes! Oh! Okay, I did not expect that. Uh, now I kind of have to take, right? Alright, sure, we'll go for it. Ooh, he goes there, alright. I'll go king h1. Oh, you know what, guys? That might have been a mistake. So, for him. So if he trades queens now, it's not check for me. So I can take on f7 and check him. And I would have won a pawn that way. So this is actually okay for me, because now if I take and takes back, he also has a weak pawn, because this pawn is kind of weak right now. So it might work out for me. Oh, he takes back. Okay, we don't have to trade queens, which is good, which is good. Um, I'm going to play queen f3. No threat. <laughs> no threat with this move. I wish I had a move like this, but after... Takes queen f7, king d8. I think he's just hiding. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to calculate. I'm gonna go for bishop g5. Oh, wait, he took. Okay. So the plan is queen f7. And the king has to go to d8. And then the plan is to bring my other rook into the game. So I'm gonna play rook d1 check. And now... If he moves his king to c8, he's falling for checkmates by queen d7. He goes to b, uh, b8, and then this is a back rank mate with the rook supporting after the queen takes. He resigns! We beat... We beat him with the Halloween gambit! <laughs> Boss number two taken down. <laughs> so here he had to play bishop d6 to defend himself, but after just takes, his pieces are just... He's just stuck. It's going to be mate very shortly after. So, Maddie's Gambit that I'm going to be playing against him is... The Cochrane Gambit. So, the way this one goes is... E4, E5. Knight F3. Knight F6. Knight takes E5 d6 and we're gonna sack on f7 all right that's how this gambit works all right let's go all right e4 e5 knight f6 d6 
and takes. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, pawns hanging, but I feel like I need to be aggressive. So I'm gonna go bishop c4. Just get a check out there. Also get closer to castling, which can be helpful. Okay, it goes for d5. Um, I'm gonna take it. Because at least we'll have a pin. And then we'll have a chance to do something else. Alright, he goes there. I don't want to trade queens. So maybe I already messed this up, but I think I have to go king f1 here. Not the most pleasant move, but it's okay. I'm thinking d3 to stop the knight from going in here. This one's going to be a tough one. I'm going to go bishop e3 with the idea to go bishop d4. And also, hopefully bring this knight out. This knight's kind of stuck here. Let's see. Okay, this knight's gonna come out here, here. I need to avoid trades. Or do I want to be aggressive? Hmm. Let's go with h3. Might seem like a bit of a waste to move, but I want to play queen f3 without bishop g4 being a thing. Because that would trap my queen. So I kind of have to play this move. Okay, knight e5. I don't have queen f3. That sounds a bit of a struggle, guys. We're struggling a bit. And she 4 he could very much so just sack. He has three pieces on him. What to do, guys? All right, let's let's trade a bit. We need to get some pieces out. Let's go knight f3. I need to get this rook into the game. Oh, he doesn't trade. Okay, so that gives us an option to play knight d4 and kind of annoy the bishop a bit. I think I'm gonna take it because then we might be able to jump to this square at some point. I'm hoping if we can get the queen out and the rook in, that'll be something, you know? Okay, move our queen up. Gotta bring this rook into the game. This rook... Rip. <laughs> um, may it rest in peace here for the rest of the game. But yeah, it's it's not it's not gonna be able to help much. Okay, if you find I'm kind of forced to go here. Thankfully there's no C5, because obviously... Okay, we're going for it, guys. We're gonna sack the pawn. I need to play on this E-file here. Or do something crazy. Actually, they can't even take twice because if they take again, it opens up this with a discovery, which is good for me. Even time. Okay, plays A4. All right, so I think I have to go back to a2 here. Um, and it's kind of the same thing. They can take if they want, they can push if they want, but I don't think anything's happening on the queen side that I need to be too afraid of right now. Queen c8, all right, he's lining up over here, but his pawn's fine for now. Probably just trying to get out of the pin and bring his rook. I think that's what he's trying to go for. So what do I want to do? This one was kind of nice, just uh, in your face kind of move. And it works, so that's one. I could take on b4 because the queen's not there anymore. Do we win or win? Do we uh, win a free pawn? I think so. I think we can take it. Okay, I'm gonna take. Go bishop b3. Block the rook. That's a good move. He's attacking both this and this. So what do I want to do? Ooh, I think I know a good move. I think I'm gonna play this move. It defends this, and they can't take here. And even though there's three attackers on my knight, they can't take back with anything. So they'll take back with a discover check. So that's a cool move. Oh, he goes for the sack. Okay. Wasn't sure if he would or not, but I'm gonna take here with check to deflect the bishop off this diagonal. And then I'm gonna take back. So now this bishop, if it was here, this would be bad. But because it's here, I have a move to uh, defend this pawn or get my piece out of the way. Okay, take on d5. My pawns are not great, but we are got a little bit of material back, so it's not the worst thing. The time, though. The time is not looking good. Lining up for checkmate. Not looking good, guys. Okay, we gotta give this check. We gotta get some counterplay, because he's about to checkmate us. Okay, maybe not counterplay immediately, but at some point.
I'm down a piece, but I have compensation. And I have time on my side. One second left. Victory! We took down the next boss. That was a hard game. That was the hardest one. All right, so now we are moving on to the gamuts where I am black. So we're moving on to the gamuts where I am black. So let's see how these go. All right, Tim. So the gambit that I'm going to be playing against you is the Latvian gambit. So the way this one goes is e4, e5, knight f3, and I'm going to be playing f5. I have literally no idea how this is going to go. <laughs> I've never played this before. But all you have to play, Tim, is e4 and knight f3. All right? Alrighty. Let's go. All right. <laughs> now I'm completely lost. <laughs> this is going to be good. Um, I think I'm going to take and go d5. Just got some center here. I'm sure there's sacrifices white could play as well. Um, but I'm not familiar with them at all. So, going to hope he doesn't sack back. So apparently, if you play f5, it's already plus two. So let's see if I can uh, even it out here. I think I'm gonna play e4. Knight c6, there might be like bishop b5 pins. So I think I'll go for this. We can always have a connect four. <laughs> now we'll go to knight f6. So we stop any queen h5 ideas. And this bishop stops the knight from moving here and here, which is good. Okay, d3. Should we be aggressive? Let's just be let's just be extremely aggressive, guys. This is what happens when you overextend your pawns, guys. You gotta be careful. Because now takes takes. I don't want this to happen. But takes here. If I take back, there's potential pins. So I need to be careful. Okay, let's go knight c6. I wish I could have this and this right now. So then I'd be a bit more confident. But it's okay. If they take back, I think I'm still gonna play d4. Oh, they play d4 themselves. I'll take and maybe bishop c5 here. Okay, after I don't like his, it's pinned. So I'm gonna take here. And now this bishop's pinned, so what are they gonna do? I think that was a blunder. Okay, now we win the bishop. Oh, we're so close to mate. If queen f2, there's king d2. There's mate. All right, spot the mate in three, guys. Spot the mate in three. The mate is queen f2. The king has to go to d2. Followed by bishop e3. King has to go to d3. Followed up by knight to b4. Checkmate. The fourth boss has been taken down in the first game as well. We might get a, we might get a clean 6-0, guys. Against all the different uh, oh, uh, gambits. GG's, Tim. Ooh, all right, turnip. I'm gonna be white for this next one here. Actually, had one more white. Are you ready for the game that I'm gonna be playing against you? Three, two, one. The Black Mardemer. The name was too cool. It was too cool to not put in this video. So, if you don't know what the Black Mardemer is, I start off with D4. My favorite. <laughs> D5, I go E4. And after D takes E4, I'm gonna go Knight C3. And after Knight F6, I'm gonna follow it up with another pawn gambit by playing F3. So, Black, black Mardemer. So, I've had the Black Mardemer done against me, but personally, I've never played it either. So, this is again gonna be another new opening for me. Okay, so D takes E4. And after here, you're gonna play knight f6, and now here we are. Oh yeah, the Latvian was also a pawn. That's true. It, it felt worse, but it was just a pawn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, e5. Ooh, oh, there's so many pawns that I could take. So I can take this one. I could take this one. I could push even, but I don't know if pushing is good. So if I take, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna take? 
then I take back. I think I'm gonna. Mm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take. Okay, and then take here. Okay, getting queens off the board for me, I feel more comfortable because in a game where I have no idea what's happening, I feel a bit better with this. So I have two options here. I could take on e4 and then take back and then just play a game. But I'm going to be losing this pawn on e5 anyway. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to play e6 and make his pawn structure uncomfortable. And then I'm going to retake back here. And now this pawn is an isolated pawn instead of him just taking back and having a normal pawn structure. So that's why I'm playing e6. Okay, this could have been a lot worse. I'm okay with this position. Let's try to castle. So let's play knight f3, so when they castle, this is blocked. And now... Bishop c4, there might be knight b6. So I'm not really trying to threaten the pawn yet. Maybe I can go bishop d3 myself. Let's go bishop d3. Maybe bishop e3, so then I can try to castle. Okay, so he traded. We took back. Takes here... Mm, I want to avoid letting him take, because then I'm going to have a backwards pawn myself. So I could move back, but then takes, takes, knight d4 looks annoying. Okay, I'm going to take, and I'm going to move back to e2 now. This pawn is weaker than I would want. Maybe I didn't play it precisely, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, my pawn's quite weak. I'm glad he at least got a weak pawn as well. So even if I lose this, there might be hope to win it back. Inside castle. Now we might have to go here and go with a backwards pawn. It's not ideal, but we might need to. So we might have a backwards pawn because we have to take back to defend, but it's okay. It's okay. I gotta bring this rook into the game too. I don't like the idea that the rook can just slide down here. That is what I was worried about. So I can go here or I can push. I'm gonna go here though. Now I can push on here. We can go into a big trade-off, and I think I'm still keeping the pawn. Let's do that. Okay, now I kind of have to take. Take, work takes. Um, maybe I can go rook here. I'm so nervous I'm going to drop a piece by miscalculating, but I think it seems hard for both sides to break through. A little bit. Personally, I prefer black, honestly, because I'm a bit tired up defending. Um, but black also can't really increase the attack more than this. This is like the peak. And he's down a minute, so we might take down this boss with time. We just might. He takes, we gotta take back here. <sighs> okay, um, this is actually kind of smart on his part. So if I go king d2, he's gonna play rook f2 check. And then takes, takes. I probably have to go rook e2 and go into this endgame, which I don't think is bad for me. So I'm gonna try it out here. Let's go here. If I move my rook over, I can try to go d4 maybe and support it. Let's bring this knight into the game, actually. Just been uh, sitting around. Then maybe King C3 and D4. That would be the goal. There, let's go 95 attack the rook. Can't play D4 now. It's kind of a knight of three. Um, attack the rook again. Maybe knight D4 attack the bishop is is better. Let's go E5. Just so they can't play E5, and that way their rook stays stuck. And now we've kind of closed off the rook, which is really nice. Um, and I believe can go h4 here and I don't really want to trade so let's go let's go knight d4 okay. we're slowly making use of the fact that the bishop is kind of useless with anything related to the dark squares so now we can bring our king up like we want it to Everything is defended. Move the knight back. Get it to f4. He goes there. We can take time. Knight f4. And this is a very nice position now. And he's gonna flag. 
And we have a flag for the fifth boss. We have won with the Black Mark Gamer again, but GG's turn up. Thank you so much for the game. The final boss is. The England Gambit! And it's so fitting because I'm playing Bob who plays the England Gambit and gets wrecked with it every single time. This is the perfect final boss, kind of a hilarious twist. Because this is probably the worst possible Gambit you could ever play. Especially as a lower player that's learning the principles Learning how to develop your pieces properly, this goes against every single principle that you could imagine. So how fitting that I'm playing Bob with this Gambit. Alright, he's here, let's go! Final boss, guys! The England Gambit, let's go! Okay, you would think after all these times I would know how to play, because I play D4 a lot, so I get played against this a lot, but I don't. I believe queen e7 or something is the move here, but it's uh, truly ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous. But we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to win this pawn back anyway. Queen b4 a move here. Bishop d2, queen takes. Let's go for this. Is this a move? Can I take? Okay, this is either gonna work or I'm gonna get my queen trapped. I'm not sure which one's gonna happen. I'm going for it. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. So I think here, uh, can I sack my queen for something or it's just, just not the line that I'm thinking of? I feel like I've committed though too much, so we have to go for this. Alright, we're, we're gonna sack. This could be a huge mistake, but we're gonna do this. Okay, we have officially sacked a queen for a knight and a rook. So we do have the option to take a pawn as well. So I think I'm going to snag, honestly, whatever I can get. Because um, I am not confident <laughs> with this at all. And I need to get my pieces developed as soon as possible. Okay. I, I want to avoid trades, but I, I can't move the knight. So I think we'll let this one slide here. So if he wants to trade, he can. Uh, I wish I had a bishop to go here now. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. This pawn's hanging. I could play f6, but then my entire diagonal is getting wrecked. So I feel like I need to sack a pawn. Just don't know how much I'm sacking here. Here takes these two are attacked. This is tricky, guys. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. This is why you don't play the England game, but part I don't even know anymore. <laughs> We're just gonna sack like all my pawns. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go this. And then we're gonna go here. You can take on g7 if you want. Gotta go here. Yeah, literally all my pawns are leaving me. It's okay. Um, I'm really hoping that some miracle happens. Winning with the England Gamma is like impossible. <laughs> okay, this is our chance. So he's trying to castle, so I feel like we need to snag this pawn at least. That was a mistake giving me this, because now you can't castle. Should I bring the knight into the game? No, I'm going to leave the knight here, because it stops the bishop from trading. I want to trade as little as I can. Maybe I'll just move my king in a bit. Let's go here. Okay, king f1, let's double up rooks. Okay, he's... What's he trying to do? Is he trying to run? I can go bishop g4. I'm not... It doesn't quite do too much, though. Let me try it. Forcing moves, right? That's what they say. So the king has to go here or here. Okay. I'm gonna move back and connect my pieces. I was debating playing rook d8, but I don't like that my rook's just trapped here. When I take the pawn, I'll feel a bit better. Oh no, my bishop, you can trade with me. Whatever will I do? I'm trying. Oh, wait, he blunders it. <laughs> he still blunders it, except it's even worse. <laughs> oh, you resigned. Yeah, I have <laughs> knight f4 check and I win the queen. Discovery, and I'm up so much material. We won with the England Gambit. We beat the final boss. Let's go.
no losses in this gambit challenge. GG's bug. You lost to your worst enemy. England Gambit. Will this convince you to not play it? Sumo Divina 6-0. You know what this calls for? A celebration. 6-0. We didn't take a single loss. We beat with all the gambits that I've never even played with before. Let's go! Thank you for watching.